I'm Sandra Torres. I'm at my studio. I work with porcelain in Ojai, California, and I work with slip cast porcelain, and um, that allows me to have very translucent uh, pieces and very uh, thin, you know, it's like an eggshell. I work with very limited uh, glaze inside, so you can feel the porcelain in the outside. Um, and I mostly do functional, but I work with some pieces like this one that it's like a like a vase, but it can be just like a flower box. And um, I work a lot with uh, patterns that are repetitive. And um, however, um, I actually am drawn to very simple kind of designs here. You can see where they play with very small details of color. And um, and I use something that's called a sulfate that gets this um, feeling of a watercolor application. And what it does is that it actually colors the clay and it goes through the material. Um, so I actually like working mostly in, in a small uh, scale. I like the pieces that actually you can feel and that fit in your hand. But here and there I will venture and do some larger works, um, you know, that I actually can be more decorative than functional, even though everything can be used and it's safe. Um, I recently made these ramen bowls and there is the same thing. I like working with pieces that are, have, have very simple shapes and there are many reasons for that. I actually uh, am drawn to the basic of shapes, you know, the circle or the rectangle. And the other piece is that when I work with the shapes, I'm able to pull these uh, pieces out of a one piece mold. And with that, I don't have any joints um, that are always visible when you do not place um, the pieces. So um, these are one of my best sellers always. These are vases, bot vases, they're very stable and everything is watertight. Uh, because of the glaze, but they would be anyway, you know, if I didn't do that. And it's the same, they allow me, these pieces are actually two pieces put together, you know, the spout and the piece are two separate ones. And what it ha what it allows me to do is to have a little uh, different personality for each piece because I can actually work with the position of the piece. And you can see that actually too on these sake bottles where they're the same, but not, you know, the position of the, top it's different on each piece and uh, and because I do all the decorations by hand and I apply every pattern by hand there's no identical pieces they all have small variations so there's there's always this uh, one of a kind even though they're similar um, I have been working I played uh, not long ago with some uh, industrial malls uh, from the mid-century designs because I'm really um, attracted to them. These are some cookie plates, but also I actually played. This is a mid-century design of a creamer, and I was just playing, you know, in uh, combining that kind of design that I like so much with my decorations. And um, these ones are super fun. These ones are actually a mid-century um, ashtray. Um, that you know, I I am not a smoker, so my relationship to ashtrays are not is not very strong. So I al also see these things as just a sculpture or also I, I love sushi so I can totally see like a little wasabi and, and ginger there or other things, you know. Um, so I've been playing with this. Uh, I got a few just to to play. I also made um, these other ones I've been playing with. These are also mid-century um, candle holders that I got and they have been actually pretty fun. It's kind of hard because the clay I use is, uh, it's, it's not made for industrial production. So there's a few pieces that I got some molds, but like this place, they're a little tricky because my slip is not as liquid. So the, the production molds usually are two pieces and they're supposed to be solid pieces, but it doesn't quite work. So I've been, I've been playing with that and adapting how the way I use the slip for those kind of pieces. So I was originally trained as an architect and eventually well life happened and I moved on but I always like creating space and I actually when I started working with clay I discovered that I actually prefer to create space at a smaller scale you know it's more intimate. These are some bowls that are more sculptural and as you can see I still follow um, very simple shapes for these ones. 
This one, it's the same mold, however, it's truly a little different. Uh, it has these little spikes here that are they're added by hand to each of them, and it just gives it a little different kind of sense of this piece. I fire everything um, between four and five times, and I fire to something that's called, it's high temperature, with mid high temperature is cone six, and I fire everything at home. I am doing electric oxidation. Um, so a full load um, on this kiln would be, a, of the smaller pieces would be about a rough 90 to 100 pieces. Um, and it takes uh, anywhere between two hours for the lower cone to 10 hours to the high temperature. So I have this other kiln that's a little smaller just when I, I have a smaller, a smaller production. So I can use this one and not have to f uh, fill that kiln, the bigger one. Yeah. So. This is also the chlorides, and these ones have a little gold details in random places.